Welcome to the Ultimate Top 5. Today we will be talking about a scary subway story. This is an account of someone who asks to remain anonymous. Some names have been changed and parts of the plot have been altered for viewing purposes. Warning. If you would not like to watch this video because you are easily scared or for any other reason, I advise you click away now. If you would still like to watch this video, proceed at your own risk. You have been warned. And also, remember that merch that we introduced to you all last video? That merch is actually limited edition. On November 17th, 2020, that merch will no longer be for sale and will be replaced with new merch. If you want to buy any of it, buy it before it is too late. There is no guarantee that it will ever be available again, and if it is, it will most likely be temporarily. And one last thing, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, buy that merch. Now let's get right on into it. I was on the 4 train in New York City northbound towards Woodlawn. Things were going very smoothly for me for a while. I got off my plane about an hour ago to visit the city. When I changed trains at Grand Central, I had no idea that in about 15 minutes I would be in one of the worst experiences of my entire life so far. Right after we left the vicinity of Yankee Stadium Station, the train derailed. All of us that were standing fell down, most of us were bleeding, and one man even broke his leg. This happened before smartphones were widespread, and since no one on the train had one, we couldn't call for help. We were at the very back of the train where no one could hear us. The man that broke his leg was frightened that he would die before help would come, and he was also in excruciating pain. After a few minutes, another train came up behind us, and we signaled to them that help was necessary. Since we were in the last car, we had no idea what was going on in the front cars because the doors had been misaligned when the train derailed. After about five hours, the car was filthy, and people were getting very hungry. People were fighting over food and water that people were carrying with them, and many other things too. After about six hours, rescue crews finally reached us. We were taken along to the next station and we were able to get off. The man with the broken leg received proper medical treatment, fortunately. I have never ridden a train since because of my fear that this may happen again. Thank you all very much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did or didn't, We'd also appreciate it if you hit like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get notified whenever we post a new video. And I also have something to tell you. We're changing our channel name, although I have not announced it yet. Leave in the comments below what you think our new channel name will be. And if one of you guesses right, I will give you a shout out in our very next video. Thank you all very much for watching again, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.